Attack on Mika. Oh man, I'm tired. Is there anything to eat, Nanami? Yeah, hold on. My name is Nanami. I've been married to my husband Shinji for three years now. We don't have any children yet. We were so happy when we first got married. I mean, we fought now and then, but we would have makeup sex and reinforce our bond. But as time passed by, we became more family than couple. Or maybe, or maybe even more accurately, just roommates. Man, the Revenge of Mika episode today is hilarious! <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. Uh, about what? Do you remember how we promised each other that we would experience as much as we could while we were alive and find the ultimate happiness together? I feel like our life is just repetitive and boring these days. Nothing against Revenge on Mika. That's a great show. What's wrong with that? I think we're pretty happy, don't you? Do you remember telling me how when we grow old, we would move overseas and enjoy a quiet life in the countryside, and how once we weren't worried about money anymore, we would go take part in volunteer activities? I thought it was so admirable, listening to you telling me your dreams. But look at you now. You just come home, eat, drink, then sleep. That's all you do. Dreams are dreams. Reality is reality. This is what a realistic life looks like. <sighs> My husband avoids these kinds of deep conversations with me. Whenever I try to get serious, he always just brushes it off like this. Do you still love me? Huh? No, come on, what kind of a question is that? Do you love me? I'm serious. No, oh, come on, Nanami! You're so uptight! Yeah, I love you! I love you so much! Maybe I am too serious, but I just want to feel loved. So, I decided to switch things up a little bit and beg like a cute little girl. I want a UV parasol! The UV parasol? You know, I have to walk such a long distance from the train station to work, and the sun is so strong these days. Can you buy me one, honey? Isn't it too late to try to protect yourself from the sun? Huh? You never even wore a hat when you were younger, right? See those spots on your face? It's all from the long years of neglect. You've become old, huh? <laughs> uh, hey! How annoying. I can buy a parasol with my own money. I just wanted to see the romantic man inside of you. Maybe this is what marriage is. Maybe my expectations are too high. And maybe all the other families are like this too. I wonder, are all men like this? If that was so, I would be able to accept my situation. But I had no one to compare him to. I never had many male friends and it felt wrong talking to them about my problems in the first place being married and all. So, I thought of a good idea. I created an account on a dating app. My sole purpose was to observe people. I chose a random avatar and only filled in the bare minimum and created an account. Looking for someone to cheat with? Is anyone free tomorrow to meet up and just have sex? What is this? Maybe Shinji is better than most men. Yeah, maybe I was just being too hard on myself. Just seeing Shinji smile, that should be enough to make me happy. Right as I was starting to recover my gentle and loving feelings... Huh? Nice to meet you. It looks like we live in the same city. Where in the city do you live? Want to meet up sometime? Huh? The mystery man just had a close-up shot of his eyes. But the scar at the edge of his eyebrow was identical to Shinji's scar. The scar that he got when he fell off of his surfboard. No, 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 no! There's no way this is him! Why would Shinji be on a dating app? Uh, huh? Wait! That mug. That's Shinji's favorite yes-no mug cup! The one that I told him was stupid and he got mad at me for! His treasure! Huh? Wait, is this background our home? Is that the full series of Attack on Titan on the bookshelf behind him? Shinji's Holy Bible? No, 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 no. He, he just lives in the same city, has the same scar on his eyebrow, owns the same Yes No Mug cup, and collects Attack on Titan. There are plenty of men like that. Oh, by the way, don't worry. I'm single. No wife or girlfriend. Huh? <laughs> 
it's definitely him. I was in despair. I couldn't believe that my husband was looking to meet other women online. Where do you hang out usually, Ayumi? I'm uh, pretty busy recently. I haven't been going out much. Oh, really? I know all the cool places in town. I gotta take you sometime. No, right. I never see you even leave the house on your days off. Have you ever been to Titan Bar? I go there alone all the time. They have a nice selection over there. That's the bar we go to together sometimes. I wonder if they have Makuri. Yeah, they do! Sweet! Let's go there together sometime! You in? Oh, jeez. He's seriously trying to spit game, but he's trying to act all hip. How pathetic. Are you a big drinker? What happens when you get drunk? Are you the flirty type? Well, we better take things slowly, right? Let's take our time and get to know each other. What a one-sided conversation. But seriously, let's hang out sometime. I found this really nice hotel with an ocean view. At this point, I was way past getting mad. I decided to just pretend to be Ayumi and keep getting closer to Takumi. However, I'm not that rich though. No worries, who do you think I am? I make plenty of money, I got you covered. Huh, that's weird. I manage all of his income and only give him a monthly allowance. Wow, I'm so jealous. I can't save any money. I like to save my money in cash. What? Cool, but isn't cash kind of dangerous? What if something happens? Oh, no worries. I've got it all stashed away. What? Do you have like a safe or something? No, I hide my cash in my bookshelf. Oh, good idea. Wait. No! <laughs> And you won't even buy me a parasol? More than anything, I was hurt that this husband of mine who always seemed so bored when he talked to me was enjoying this conversation with another girl so much. You look like you're having fun recently. Huh? Oh, yeah. Did something good happen? Yeah, something like that. <sighs> After thinking about how to proceed for a while, I decided I'd give him one more chance to prove his loyalty. Are you really single? This is your last chance to come clean. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm married. Oh! But I like you. What should I do? That's the stupidest question ever. Cheating is bad, though. I, I know, but I just can't see her as an object of desire anymore. On the weekend, she always walks around without a bra, and she drinks beer after taking a shower. Like a dude. <clears throat> he was right, though. He has a point. Whenever I get home earlier than him, I always take my makeup off right away. And I've denied sleeping with him because I was tired. He always laughed about it, but it was probably pretty harsh. I can't remember the last time I actually did something for him. I wish... I could have met you earlier, Ayumi. This bastard! Yeah, I can't forgive him for trying to cheat on me. No matter how true it was what he said, what's wrong is wrong. I figured that the situation would only get worse if I continued to pretend to be a Yumi, so I switched directions. What's your wife doing? She's just staring at her phone, like usual. Oh really? What's she doing on her phone? I don't know, probably shopping online or something. <laughs> Enough about her, tell me more about you. I want to see you. Yeah, good idea. Let's meet up. Sweet! When should we meet? What about now? Uh, now's not a good time. My wife is here. I'm already nearby, though. Huh? Do you know where I live? Oh, wait! Are you at Titan Bar, are you me? No, I'm much closer than that. What? Do you know where I am? Uh, come on, knock it off. I'm not good at these guessing games. Right now, I'm right next to you. Huh? Hello! So, I think we need to have a long talk. No! No! Shinji just kept apologizing. When he got on his knees, I was almost sad that I married such a pathetic guy. I even thought about losing it and destroying the house. But I realized that it wouldn't solve anything. You've done something terrible. But I'm at fault too. You were right. When I asked myself if I'd done everything I can to show you my appreciation for your hard work every day, I couldn't confidently say yes. 
I always wanted you to make me happy. But if I was to ask myself if I had tried to make you happy, I didn't. I'm sorry, Shinji. Uh, none of me. I don't want you to cheat on me. I want you to see me as a woman again. Yeah. After that, I spent more time doing my makeup and caring about how I dressed. My husband seemed to be sorry for everything also, and started taking part in the housework more than before. Uh-huh. Is this? A parasol! You wanted one, right? Where did you find this? What an unusual choice of design. What do you think? <laughs> None of me. I'm happy! Thank you! What it comes down to is that a husband and wife are different individuals also. Marriage is about integrating conflicting cultures. It's impossible to completely understand each other's feelings. That may be true, but that's not an excuse to try to work things out and move forward. Just complaining about everything makes it harder for everyone involved. Rather than pointing out and trying to fix the other person's flaws, it's about looking within and reflecting on how to compromise. Life is long, so I decided to take things slowly, like that. I'm sure that I'll be hurt and annoyed in the future, but I hope to be with him forever, regardless. You idiot, Shinji. I'm going to make you happy.